Hi and welcome everyone, thank you for watching. Today I'm going to be talking about Microsoft Excel 2016, specifically how to enter data into a worksheet. So today, in today's uh, lesson, I'm basically going to go over merging and formatting, autofill, and then the uh, best practices of actually entering data into your cells. So let's get started. So as we can see, I have a preset um, Microsoft Excel worksheet here. Um, again, what's uh, on this page isn't really so important. It's just a uh, little tips and tricks you can use to um, really make sure that your data is being entered correctly and uh, in the most efficient way possible. So we can see here that um, if I look at this cell right here in B3, we see that it just says April here, and this is the C3 is where May and June should go. Now, a lot of people just type in May and June. What you could do instead is if you click April, in the bottom right corner, you'll see this little icon up here. It's a black uh, plus sign, and if you just click that and drag it through C3 and D3, you could actually autofill those uh, months in. So now it says May and June. Okay, so that's a kind of a cool uh, feature. You'll be seeing that throughout the, this playlist. And so another thing that I want to show you is merging and centering. So let's say we have this title up here, Profit Marietta, and we want to move this title so that it's in the center between uh, cells or columns A and F because that's where our data begins and ends. So if I want to get this Profit Marietta here, to be in the center of all of this, what some people do is they'll take the Profit Marietta and they'll copy and paste it to over here in cell C. That's not the correct way to do it because then if either columns uh, grow or shrink or any of the columns grow or shrink, it's going to manipulate that center point on your uh, uh, on your title here. So what we want to do instead is we want to do what's called merging and centering. So I'm going to click on cell A1 and drag through F1 because that's where my data begins and ends in terms of columns and then I go to the home tab and the alignment group there's a button for merge and center and what this does is it combines and centers the contents of the cells in a new larger cell so I click that and then we see Profit Marietta is merged so we have all of the cells in uh, row 1 which is A through F column A through F are now one cell Okay, and so no matter what, even if some columns grow or shrink, the Profit Marietta will adjust accordingly. So that's how you merge and center. All right. So now the next thing I want to go over is um, how to apply cell styles. So cell styles can be kind of confusing uh, because people don't really know about them so much, um, at least from my past experience. What we can do though is we could set a specific cell style for whatever we're looking at on our page. So right here, Profit Marietta is my um, is my uh, title. So what I want to do is go to the Home tab, Styles group. And then right here, there's a button for more. And we can see all of these different styles are here. So the one that I'm wanting to choose for this one is a title. So if I click right there on title, it's going to automatically give it a title look. Now this will vary depending on the theme that your, um, your uh, Excel worksheet is in. However, uh, I'll go ahead and show you how that would work. So if my theme was say Wisp in this one, uh, I would just go to the page layout tab and on the left side there's a themes group and let's say right now if you just hover over it you could tell what the theme is it's currently office theme if I scroll through here you can see how the changing the theme really affects the way that it looks so I'm going to choose wisp and now I could see right there everything looks good and uh, you could adjust these themes uh, at the beginning or at the end of your document uh, however I do suggest the beginning because that way um, you can see exactly how it looks as you build your spreadsheet. So there we go. So now I change that to title. Now what I want to do is we see right here on row two, we have this subtitle here, but it, this should be centered as well. So again, I'm going to show you how to do merging and centering. You grab cell A2 and you drag through F2 and then you click merge and center. And again, that's in your home tab alignment group, merge and center. And so that will merge and center that across uh, that set of columns in row two. Now what I want to do is apply a settings or a, a style to this. So I'm going to go to Home tab, Styles group, and I'm going to click More, 
which is this little icon right here. It looks like a horizontal line with a little directional arrow facing down below it. So I click that. And then I see all these different headings here, and the one on the far left is heading one. So that's just another style that I can choose, and that looks like a good subheading for this particular um, uh, subtitle. So now what I can do is center the columns in the or center the column titles in the range B3 through F3. So B3 is right here through F3. And to center them, uh, you can just uh, you'll notice that you can go to the home tab and alignment group and right there is center okay so you click right there and that'll center your uh, titles so that's how you center in Microsoft Word or excuse me Microsoft Excel I've been teaching Word for so long now I've forgotten uh, I'm switching to Excel anyway um, so yeah that's how you center it so now another thing that we have to do is we see over here in column A that some of our text is being cut off. So the way that you can increase the column width is to in between A and B, you're going to see that little icon appear for your cursor. And if you just click and increase, you can see the pixel count increases as you go. And so I'm just going to increase this one to 180 and then release. And you'll see now uh, it should just about fit everything, but in this case it doesn't, so I'll just double click and it will automatically auto fit everything inside of it. Okay, so that's a uh, kind of a good way to um, auto fit your contents so that everything fits inside. And then finally, in the range B7 through D7, so we see right here is uh, B7 right there through D7. Okay, um, in B7 through D7, enter in, uh, we want to enter in data because the data is missing here. So we have the Elite Home Gym and we want to basically enter in the data. So whenever I enter in data, I want to highlight the area. That I want to enter in the data and then I'm going to use a combination of tab on the keyboard and enter on the keyboard to enter in the data. So in this case I'll just enter the sales here and again the numbers here aren't so important but I'm just going to keep entering the numbers so that you can see and I'm pressing tab in between each one right and so when I get to the end and I press tab it's actually going to take me back to uh, the beginning okay and so there we go. So now um, what I wanted to do is uh, I just wanted to show you how to enter in the data today. I'm going to show you how to actually add and total up these columns in a separate video. But for right now I just wanted to kind of go over how to at least make your data look um, good and make sure that what you're typing in is looking correct so uh, and show you the auto um, auto fit and different features like that so I'll go over uh, how to do the calculations in a separate video and so if you like this uh, kind of content please like this video and subscribe to the channel and if you have a video request just put it in the comment section and I'm happy to do a uh, another video on whatever you need to learn so thanks again uh, for watching and have a good rest of your day.